Thanks for tuning in. This is the life of the miner. And in this video, I'm going to go over mining Monero with my RTX 2080 Ti and my RTX 2080. I'll go over the hash rates, the overclocks and the power draw. And I'll also compare it with the other GPUs as well. So let's check this out. All right, so I will have all the stats below. So if you did want to check that out, it will be in the description. Okay, so first I'm going to go over the general hash rates, overclocks, and power draws, but I'll be more detailed at the end. So I do want to mention I do have the Zotec Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Amp Edition and the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 XC Ultra Gaming Edition. Now my gaming computer with my RTX 2080 Ti does idle around 63 watts. Now setting the power limit at 100, core at 100, and the memory clock at 1000, I was able to achieve 1,228 hashes at 268 watts. And of course, here are all the stats. And if you did want to see this in more details, just go ahead and pause this video. Now dropping the power limit to 60 core at 100 and memory clock at 1,000, I was able to achieve 1,202.1 hashes at 213 watts. Now for my RTX 2080, my test bench does idle around 40.4 watts. Setting the power limit at 100, core at 80, and memory clock at 1000, I was able to achieve 903.5 hashes at 181 watts. Now setting the power limit at 60, core at 80, memory clock at 1000, I was able to achieve 898 hashes at around 172 watts. Okay, so now for the other graphics cards, I did get the stats from what to mine. Now I know you can get your stats better, but this is pretty much the average stats. So for the NVIDIA 1070s, you can get around 730 hashes at 110 watts. The 1080s, 610 hashes at 100 watts. And the 1080 Ti, about 850 hashes at 150 watts. Now for the AMD graphics cards, the 580, you can get around 860 hashes at 115 watts. The Vega 56, you can get around 1,850 hashes at 200 watts. And the Vega 64, you can get around 1,850 hashes at 220 watts. So as you can see, the AMD graphics cards are a lot better mining Monero than the NVIDIA graphics cards. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over this in more details. So mining Monero on my RTX 2080 Ti, my computer did idle at 63 watts, power limit at 100, core clock at 100, and memory clock at 1000. I was able to achieve 1,228 hashes at 268 watts. Now the GPU itself was only consuming around 205 watts, so I was getting around 5.9902 hashes per watt. Now dropping the power limit at 60, core at 100 and memory clock at 1000, I was able to achieve 1202.1 hashes at 213 watts. So I did drop around 25.9 hashes, but my GPU now is only consuming 150 watts, so I did drop around 55 watts. So I was getting around 8.0140 hashes per watt. So my efficiency did go up by about 2.0238. Now mining on my RTX 2080, my computer did idle around 40.4 watts, power limit at 100, core at 80, and memory clock at 1000. I was able to achieve 903.5 hashes at 181 watts. Now my GPU itself was only consuming around 141 watts, so I was getting around 6.4078 hashes per watt. Dropping the power limit at 60, core at 80, and memory clock at 1000. I was now achieving around 898 hashes at 172 watts. So my GPU was only consuming around 132 watts. So I did drop around 5.5 hashes, but also did drop around 9 watts. So I was achieving around 6.8030 hashes per watt. So my efficiency only did increase about 0.3952. Okay, so now for the other graphics cards, like I mentioned, I did grab these stats from what to mine. So the NVIDIA 1070s, you're getting around 6.634 hashes per watt. The 1080s, you're getting 6.10 hashes per watt. The 1080 Ti, you're getting about 5.6667 hashes per watt. Now for the AMD graphics cards, the 580s, you're getting around 7.4783 hashes per watt. The Vega 56, 9.25 hashes per watt. And the Vega 64s, 8.4091 hashes per watt. Alright, so there you have it. That's the results mining Monero on my RTX graphics cards. 
Now I do want to mention I did test other algorithms as well so definitely check out my other videos but of course thanks for watching and always happy mining.